What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. FantasyTeamAdvisors.com, bringing home the bacon NBA DFS video. It is Wednesday. It is December 27th, and we are back with a full video for you guys. If you've never been here before, you're in for a treat, I hope. Anytime we have at least five games in our article right here, will be three top three men and three value picks at each position. We pull these from our... Uh, player projections. So we have on top of this, we have all the player projections that any player that's supposed to score at least one fantasy point. So we're giving you an option. Now, there are some people out there that don't find these videos beneficial, and that's completely fine. You're probably in the wrong spot. If you find this video helpful and beneficial, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for us, and that bell notification. What we do is we try to make you a better DFS player. If you're just looking to buy lineups, you're in the wrong spot. Go, honestly, go to Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it, or other places, and get scammed that way. We are here to make you a better DFS player. So not only on top, like those people that just sell lineups, they don't do any of the research. They just put your lineups out there. They don't care if they win or lose. The hours that go into this, you wouldn't have any idea, but we are here to help you become a better DFS player. So on top of this article, we have simulations. So we're going to kind of talk about a few of the simulations in this video. Uh, DFS minutes played, that's the uh, everyone, that's every single player that's ever played a minute on every depth chart on there. So you can go check that out. NBA points allowed by position. We got Vegas odds, top plays. The top plays are both FanDuel and DraftKings. They're for uh, DVP and implied team totals. We've got our player projections, which we're, these are some of them. We have our chalk. So these are projected out winners, losers, uh, however uh, you want to call it. But the players are on there. They're projected ownership. So if you're playing cash, you kind of want to stay with the chalk. If you're playing tournaments, you want to look at the chalk and you want to you know, pivot to somewhere else so you're not exactly with the chalk. Then you got our cheat sheet, which is each position. We got about five players uh, for cash and five for tournaments for each position. We have some leverage plays on there. We have DK tiers. We also have uh, optimal lineups, which are a great starting point. But unlike just buying lineups, they're a great starting point. They are not to just copy and paste. And then we have our NBA bets. Last night we did a clean sweep, 3-0, and uh, of our three bets that we had for NBA. So on top of that, you can go check out fantasyteamadvisors.com. We've got NFL content. We've got NBA content. I'm going to be filming the NFL rankings for week 17, and uh, we will be checking out everything to have to offer there. So we're going to go over this article, and then if you would, click the link down below in the description. That is today's article. Also, there's a Discord link down there, which we started getting some... Um, correspondence and people were talking back and forth last night which is exactly what i want i want a community that is together to help each other so if you want to jump in the community let's do it so that being said we are going to go over the vegas odds real quick again we have six games nets bucks close game three point spread a 240 and a half over under we've got wizards raptors 238 and a half over under raptors are a six and a half point favorite definitely something to watch there We've got Thunder Knicks, Thunder being a two and a half point favorite, 238 and a half over under. The, a lot of these teams are playing either the front end of a back to back or the back end of a back to back. So, you know, the minutes played could be a factor. So, that's definitely something to look at. We've got the Mavs, Cavs, uh, Mavericks being a four point favorite. Luka might be out. If Luka is, in fact, out, that's going to open up some value there. And then Rockets Suns is a close game, but a shoot 25 and a half over under. And then Magic 76ers, two and a half spread for the Magic and a two twenty four and a half over under. So we do have some pretty, I, I don't mind most of these games. Uh, they're pretty close spreads. The lower over unders are very close. Even the higher ones, six and a half point spread is not much. We need to take advantage of this. So we looked at this. Anytime a video gets at least 50 likes, you leave a comment. You are a YouTube subscriber. You have a chance to win a free month or a free week of DFS content. 100 likes equals a chance to win a free month. 125 likes, a free year. And 150 or more likes on any video, you leave a comment. You are a subscriber. You have a chance to win a lifetime pass. We have not given away a weekly pass in a while. We did have a winner in uh, two videos ago for a player who got the correct uh, score. So... What it is, 
is if you like the video, you are a subscriber, and you want to win, tell me who's going to score the most amount of fantasy points on this slate on DraftKings, and how many fantasy points are they going to score. If you get it correct without going over, you have a chance to win a free week. And I'm going to up the ante now. I want people to win. Tell me who's going to score the most amount of fantasy points on DraftKings. How many are they going to score? If you get it correct, you're going to win a free month of content. No one won yesterday. We're going to keep rolling. It's every single day. So that is a good way to do it. Let's dig into the article. So just looking at the article, these are three top three mid, three value picks. The value picks will open up throughout the day and change a little bit when or if, you know, Luca is out, if other players are out on this slate. And we're going to look at that um, and definitely we'll open up some eyes and just check it out. So these are great starting point uh, projections. They are basically floor projections. So we don't think they're going to obviously minus injuries or minus technical. Fa I thought so we had Cade Cunningham, I think over 22 and a half points last night. He had three fouls in the first half. Very, very, uh, I pretty much chalked it up to a loss because I thought he was going to foul out. He did not. He came through for us. I think he scored like 35 real points. Um, so, again, NBA is a little bit trickier than MLB, but we are here to serve you. So, looking at point guard, SGA on a back-to-back. -back. So, we had him yesterday, uh, scored a ton of points. Um, got him right now at 52 fantasy points. We got Devin Booker at 45, but for some reason, my mind is telling me Devin Booker is going to score a ton of points tonight. I absolutely love his matchup here. I've got him at 45. Would not be surprised if he goes for 60-plus here. Uh, we got Damian Lillard at 44. Mid-tier is Cam Thomas, 35. Spencer Dinwiddie, 34. Tyus Jones, 33. And some value, Dante Exum at 28. Dennis Schroeder, 28. And Jalen Suggs at 27. We move to the shooting guard position. You got Jordan Poole at 36 fantasy points. We got Max Struess at 32. Cole Anthony, 32. Mid-tier, whether or not you like him or not, Josh Giddy 29. Grayson Allen, 28. OG and Nanobi at 27. And then value at the shooting guard. We've got Kelly Obrey Jr., 26. Gary Trent Jr., 24. And Emmanuel Quickly at 23. Moving to the small forward, we've got Scotty Barnes, 43. Franz Wagner, 37. Michael Bridges, 35. Mid-tier, Chris Middleton, 31. Tim Hardaway Jr., 30. Uh, Denny Adija at 30. And then your value, Isaac Okoro, 27. Lou Dort, 26. And Corey Kispert at 25 fantasy points. We move to the power forward position. Giannis at 54 fantasy points. Might be questionable. He, he might not play. This is definitely something to look at. If he is out, that is going to open up value. A big value on this slate. This slate, I honestly looking at like the the higher price guys, a ton of them might be out today. If that is the case, I might play a little bit lighter just because we don't really know how the ball is gonna uh, be distributed throughout these teams when these big guys are out. Um, so if you are one that plays like twenty lineups, maybe cut it in half. Maybe play ten lineups today. Uh, you got Kevin Durant at forty five, Julius Randle forty one. Mid-tier, Pascal at 39, Jabari Smith 36, and Jalen Williams 32. And then value, Bobby Portis could open up even more if Giannis is out. 26, Dean Wade 26, and Royce O'Neal at 25. Then we move to the center position. Uh, Alperen Segan at 41. Wouldn't be surprised if he scores more than that. Uh, Chet Holmgren 38, Jarrett Allen 35. Mid-tier, Nick Claxton, 33, Daniel Gaffer, 29, Derek Lively, 27. And then value, Jacob Pirtle, 26, Wendell Carter Jr., 25, and Mo Wagner at 24 fantasy points. Now, these are just some of the projections. They, Depending on when you watch this video, they will change. There will be updates to this. Uh, it just depends on when we get some news that breaks. Um, usually, normally, right around noon, lunchtime, everything is updated. Um we get some more news rolling through. So the, if you would click the link down below, that is this article. It would help me out immensely if you did that. Uh, we just kind of look at stuff. Um, like if you look at the Vegas odds, you see the players. Then you want to look at like points allowed by position. People like that. Some people do, some people don't. Um, so if you just kind of look, Washington gives up the second most amount of fantasy points. First most on this slate. Uh, to the point guard. So we look at who's playing. So that's Toronto point guard. So we look at Scotty Barnes, Dennis Schroeder, going to be a little bit cheaper option. 
Scotty Barnes is in a great spot. You got Gary Trent Jr., Malachi Flint. These these guys make sense to me. Um, these are ones that I would play. So when you build through, that's kind of how you can go through and maybe feel confident about what you're playing. Uh, we do have the matchup report. People have been liking it. Some people do. Some people don't. Uh, so let's just run through it real quick. So looking at this, Raptors, Wizards, you've got uh, Wizards holding everything here. Big pace of play. The thing is, they, they're like over everything. Offensive rating. Raptors are a better offensive team. Then we look at this. And, and, and we know that you just look at total fantasy points allowed by position or by team total. Washington gives up 54.8 to point guard, 43.4 to a shooting guard, 53.3 to the small forward. So they rank dead last in both the uh, small forward and center position. They rank second to last against the point guard. And they're actually good against the power forward. They rank 18th overall. So you can see these are just, uh, this would be a team that you want to focus on so you want to look at some raptors players so again like i said if you just look at all raptors players the ones that i would look at would be scotty barnes sycom dennis schroeder Ananobi, um jacob pertle is a cheaper option precious uh achua you know game log wise the minutes are very fluctuating depending if you look at the vegas odds then we look at this game right here um raptors six and a half point favorite 238 and a half over under so you know if the big guys go you know big early and they are up pretty big against washington precious could be another one it just depends the minutes the minutes are what scares me a little bit you got gary trent jr his minutes are fluctuating right around 30 hasn't really translated much overall like he had a big 44 fantasy point game against charlotte we look if he's played washington this year um he is not. So it just depends. I would definitely be looking at uh, the depth chart for uh, Toronto, and that would be a team that I would look at. Yeah, 76ers with the Magic. Um, we look at this, though. So let's, you know, overall, let's see who's all out. So Embiid is out. He is out. That is going to open up uh, some value at Philly. 11,100 is off the books. Nicholas Batum is also out. So Maxi, we look at Maxi. The minutes are there, 44 plus, you know, Kind of a down game against Miami. Seeing if he's placed, played Orlando this year. Doesn't look like it. So it really just depends. Um, Maxi opens up there. Tobias Harris, DeAndre, DeAnthony Melton. Um, I would definitely be looking at. Um, Kelly Obrey Jr. is a cheaper option at 5,700. Paul Reed should get a bunch of run here with him out. The problem is he's only played 17. I mean, Embiid was out last game. 17 minutes, 10 fantasy points. Um, probably don't like him much at all. Uh, Mo Bamba, did he play more? So Mo Bamba actually played the most there. At 3,000, everyone was on Paul Reed. Mo Bamba was there. Uh, his ownership, I would love to have seen what his ownership was, but 26 minutes... 33 and a half fantasy points had 18 actual fantasy points. So if we look at this Orlando against the center position, if we look at Orlando against the center position, let's see, they're actually really good against the center. They rank third overall. They're giving up an average of 48 fantasy points, but even that average would dominate. That's 10 times value. So this is a different way to look at it. A lot of people are looking at, um, you know, the position there. But they are still averaging, giving up 48 fantasy points per game to the center position, which again is not a ton if you look at all of this. But that would be, I would be off of that if it was in fact Embiid. But it's not. It should be Mo Bamba. So hopefully it's Mo Bamba, not Paul Reed. But I would definitely look at Mo Bamba here at 40 or at 4,000 because at 48 fantasy points, he's almost getting 11, or he is getting. He's almost getting 12 uh, fantasy point or 12 times value. Actually, it is 12 times value. I'm an idiot. A math is not not my strong suit. So if Mo Bamba plays, Embiid is already out. People might be on Paul Reed, it, you know, the casual. Mo Bamba might be my favorite, my favorite value play today. I would be looking at. Now, this is kind of what we're doing. We're. We're changing it up a little bit. We are digging in to the the mud a little bit when you build a lineup. So Mo Bamba, I don't mind him. 
Um, big fan of Mobamba there. Uh, hopefully he gets the minutes though. Hopefully we don't get screwed. He had a really good game that might screw us. We will see. So uh, the big guys that are out, Embiid is out. Um, Doncic probably out. He is questionable. Um, it's the front end of a back-to-back -back with the Mavs here. Um, maybe a close game. We'll just have to monitor this. That will open up value. So if we look at that, Luca's out for Dallas. We, we look at Dallas players. Kyrie's also out. Um, so Hardaway Jr., Exum, Derek Lively, Derek Jones Jr., um, Jaden Hardy, game log hasn't. The minutes really for Hardy haven't been there. That's the problem. Uh, we got Grant Williams. Minutes are there. Fantasy point production, really not there. 4,400, you know, you need at least to, to feel safe, probably 20. 28 to 30 out of Grant Williams. Um, so not a ton open up. Dwight Powell here at 3,600. Depends on the minutes. The minutes aren't there, though. That's the problem. So that's just another big name out. Um, Donovan Mitchell, pro he's got an illness. He's missed three straight games due to whatever this illness is. He might be out. That would open up some, um, you know, Cleveland guys. But again, they're missing Darius Garland. They're missing Evan Mobley. So that opens up a Jared Allen, a Max Struess, Craig Porter Jr., um, Isaac Okoro at 5,600, Dean Wade, I don't mind. Um, Tristan Thompson, the minutes are fluctuating there as well. But when he's playing at 4,000, he's getting the value. So if we just look at like Dallas against the opposing center position, um, Dallas actually, you know, right there, Dallas has given up an average of 58.6 fantasy points. They rank 28 out of 30th there. That could open up Tristan Thompson as a, a cheap value option as well at 4,000. So that's another one. I mean, if you do those two, you can still average 7,000 out there. Uh, that's kind of what's crazy. Um, so, yeah, you could average those uh, depending on what you're looking for, what you're trying to build around. Um, you could still build a pretty good... Uh, lineup with these two guys at 4,000. I don't mind that at all. So we've got Bucks versus the Nets. The Bucks have every single rating, except the Nets are good in defense. Pace of play is there. Bucks, obviously, again, if Giannis is in fact out and we are looking to build around, uh, that would bump up Damian Lillard. That would bump up Middleton, Bobby Portis, Brooke Lopez. Beasley minutes are okay. Not a really good game against the Knicks, but then 31 minutes there. So that was a lower scoring game. Illness starting Tuesday. Um, so yeah, no restriction. So he Malik Beasley could be in store for a good game as well. Uh, Suns versus Rockets. You've got Suns holding the top three. The only um, the only categories the Rockets hold are pace of play. The pace last five and last ten uh, so we could definitely be looking at that but again i like devin booker here so like i said uh, might be one of my favorite players so if you put him in 9600 you could still average right around 6500 on DraftKings. that i don't mind at all then we got the knicks versus thunder um kind of a mixed batch here uh knicks are good their defensive ratings better um their last five pace of play is better overall though thunder here Again, it's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, so SGA is in play. But again, with the second game of a back-to-back, -back, what are we going to expect? Um, what player, you know, Chet Holmgren. So, looking at this. Played yesterday, 35.5. We're, we're looking here, 41 point, 41 and a half. Trying to see the other ones that are back-to-back. -back. So, it really hasn't, it's been a minute since they played a back-to-back, -back, huh? No, no, no. Two days there. Three days there. Nope. Have they not? Okay, so back-to-back -back here. Beginning of the season. 64.5 on the front end at 37 minutes. Next game, 20 minutes, 28.5. So definitely look at that because Holmgren played 29 minutes last game, so don't get screwed over there. Um, it just depends on who's going to play, how many minutes they're going to play, what they're looking for. Um and, and the minutes, the minutes are a big key that we just don't know right now. 
And then Cavs, Mavs, uh, like I said, Mavericks hold all of it. If Luka is out, that will open up some Dallas players. So that being said, we do have some of our simulations. I've ran the simulations. The first batch, so if you guys have known, and if you've been with us for baseball, you know that we do simulation. We do 10,000 simulations a day. Through the first 2,000 simulations on DraftKings, um, it's Luca and Giannis, but they are probably out, so we're, we're going to go down from there. Then that's SGA is the third. Donovan Mitchell, so SGA is on a back-to-back. Donovan Mitchell is probably out. That brings us the re- the first one that I feel confident about, Devin Booker. I've got him projected out there. Um, again, with cash, you're looking for about six to six and a half times value. With tournaments, really the minimum cash you need is at least seven times value, but you kind of need eight to nine times value. So meaning, with Devin Booker at 9,600, you need at least seven times 9,600 to get those fantasy points that we're really looking for. So that's, that's something we're looking at. Um, we got Kevin Durant, Damian Lillard, uh, Tyrese Maxey, Scotty Barnes, Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle, and Alperin Singen here to round out the top after 2,000 simulations to round out what we're looking for. So hopefully this video is informative. We start out with projections. We look at the depth charts. We look at injuries. If you found it helpful, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If we can get to 50 likes, I'm going to give away a free week of DFS content. Just 50, guys. Let's get it. Let's smash that like button. Let's bring home the bacon today. Let's take money from the books, not only in DFS, but in sports betting as well. So that's what I've got for you in this video, guys. Good luck today. And as always, it's bacon time. Let's bring home the bacon. Peace.